everyone, this is Babe San Macalas, and we are now in the last video in the series of 13 videos on the answers to your biggest questions about prayer. I'm going to answer in this video specific questions about the rosary, novenas, and fasting. Okay, let me answer the first question, which is about praying the rosary. The question is, when you go to the next set of mysteries, do you have to repeat the three Hail Marys and one Our Father? The answer is no, you don't have to. All you have to do is go back to the first decade and start a new set of mysteries. Let's say you're done with the joyful mystery and you want to continue with the sorrowful mystery. What you do is just go back to the first decade or the first set of beads and proceed from there. The next question is, do I have to pray a novena? the same time and place always? Generally, no, you don't have to. You can pray a novena at any time or at any place. There are novenas, however, which are usually prayed at the church, an example of which is the novena to the Mother of Perpetual Help, which is usually prayed every Wednesday before or after Mass. Read instructions on how to pray a specific novena. Some novenas would specify a morning prayer, while a lot doesn't. Other novenas are set at a specific day, like the first Saturday of each month or every Sunday, and so on. There were three specific questions about fasting. The first was, does the length of time matter? Personally, I don't think it does. Because fasting is more about the condition of the heart or your heart set not the length of time. The most important is your motive. Why are you fasting? If you're new to fasting, you should start slow. You can start with one meal a day or one day in a week or a week in a month. It's like when you're starting a physical exercise. You don't go on a treadmill, for instance, for one hour right away. With fasting, you have to build up your spiritual muscles first so that you will be prepared to fast for longer periods of time later. The second question about fasting was, can I take water while fasting? Yes, you can. In fact, you can even take juice as well, especially when you're fasting for several days, as this will provide you with extra energy. If you will just take water when fasting, please take note that if you plan to fast for several days, it is best that you consult your doctor first. According to Dr. Bill Bright, water-only fasts that last for more than several days need to be undertaken with complete rest and under medical supervision because of the extreme danger of overtoxification, breakdown of vital body tissues, and loss of electrolytes. The last question regarding fasting was, do I have to spend it in prayer? Let me put it this way. Fasting is a time for intimately communing with God. So, the more time you spend with Him in fellowship, worship, and adoration, and the more you read and meditate upon His Word, the more effective and meaningful your fast will be. It depends on whether you will just be at home or in some quiet place alone when you do your fast, or whether you will be at work. So, it's all up to you to arrange your schedule accordingly. So, this concludes our 13 video series on the answers to your biggest questions about prayer. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I was able to shed some light on some questions which you have about prayer. God bless.